first of all i will tell you how to solve a calendar day and how to calculate even you can solve any kind of calendar question which come in one day exams so friends first of all i will tell you a formula how to calculate a day uh, write down this formula this is like if you are asking 26 january 1950 will be the what day that was the thursday i am telling you but how to calculate this it was thursday or not formula is you will take the date 26 january then plus month code later on i will tell you the month code tally there are 12 codes of the month which we have to put here directly and last two digit of the year given like 1950 year asked then last two digit 50 you will take then you will plus number of leap years up to this year 1950 how to calculate the leap years you will divide this 50 by 4 and tell how many times it was cut down 4 one ja 4 4 two ja 12 that is 12 times it is cut means in 50 years there were four 12 leap years and this formula divided by 7 that is very easy formula now i will tell you about the month codes january 1 february 4 march 4 april 0 may 2 june 5 july 0 august 3 september 6 october 1 november 4 december 6 now you are thinking that this is very typical tally no it is very easy tally i will tell you a technique to memorize these all 12 codes within 5 seconds this is the formula for first quarter you will keep in your memory square of 12 square of 12 is equal to 144 so the january code is 1 february code is 4 march code will be 4 next 3 months is equal to square of 5 0 to 5 april code 0 may code 2 june code 5 next 3 months quarter third 6 square 6 square is 036 0 is taking randomly july code 0 august 3 september 6 last quarter 12 square plus 2 12 square plus 2 is equal to 146 october 1 november 4 december 6 this is the very simple technique 12 square 5 square 6 square and 12 square plus 2 you can also remind that like to nowadays the cricket fever now you can say 1 4 and 6 ek chauka ek chhakka like that you can easily remind these scores keep in mind just you have to keep in your mind also that leap year have the two different code in january and february other code will be the same of the normal year january code will be less 1 1 minus 1 as we know the first quarter code was 144 then we have taken 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and february card also lesson by 1 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 means one code will be 0 four code will be 3 for january and february month four leap year so keep it in mind when you are calculating a leap year day now you have to think about the week code week code are seven codes is starting from one but your day will not start from monday it will start from sunday sunday code will be one monday 2 tuesday 3 wednesday 4 thursday 5 friday 6 saturday 0 keep these seven codes in your mind these are your answers what the formula previously i have told you when you will divide the total by 7 what will be the remainder remainder will be, when you will divide any number with 7 only these seven remainder will be there and that will be your answer now see we will calculate a example 26 january 1950 it is our constitution day that was thursday it is calculated but how we have calculated as first i am reminding you the formula again date month code last two digit of year number of year up to given year now take the date 26 take the month code which you remind 1 take the last two digit of year that is 50 number of leap year i have told you earlier 
like 50 in 50 years how many leap year were there divide 50 by 4 and it cut how many times it will cut 12 times it means 12 leap year were there add them all this is 89 upon 7 now you will divide this total 89 by 7 Seven one just seven, seven two just fourteen. Five will be the remainder, and it is our final answer. If you remind that five was the code of Thursday, five was the code of Thursday. So it is very easy technique to learn. Whatever you will learn, that you have to make it practice. Write down your birth date. Write down any random date. Ask your friends date and calculate these dates. Now. This is the third case which we have calculated. This formula will work for 1900 to 1999. Means just it's for 100 years, not so. Any time, any century, day is asked, you will calculate only by this formula. But you have to keep in mind one more thing, which I will tell you later on. Now calculate the day of 15 August 1947. If you will calculate. friends date 15 august code if you remind jo, after jo, uh, july july was in the third quarter and our code was 036 so then august code is 0 last two digit is 47 number of leap year given in this 47 divided by 4 41 4 41 means 11 leap year will be there when these total you will divide by 7 it will give you the remainder 6 and sixth day was friday now we will take this example for the another years like year code you will do it after final calculation in 1900 to 99 it was the code 0 when the 15th august 1947 asked you in 2047 then what you will do you will calculate for these years just to minus 1 if it comes friday means 15th august 1947 you will calculate thursday thursday minus 1 is wednesday then 15th august see that 15th august 1947 is for friday to calculate 15th august 2047 it is the code is minus 1 friday minus 1 is thursday and if it is asked in the previous century means 18th century like i will take the same day 15th august 1847 you will calculate it just from friday add plus 2 friday saturday and sunday means 19th century is the code 0 20th century the code is minus 1 and 18th century code will be plus 2 now for 17th century 15th august 1747 tuesday by the code plus 4 in friday you add 4 days saturday sunday monday then tuesday and you know friends this is the gregorian calendar and it repeats in every 400 years these four code will be applied for every 400 years means if you have used any calendar in first year then you will use the same calendar in surely in 400 1th year means 0 to 400 code are plus, minus 1 plus 4 plus 2 0 and so on these codes you will write or either you can use the base year keep in your mind base year is 1900 to 1999 which is 0 and 1 century minus 1 1 previous century plus 2 before that plus 4 so the code will be minus 1 Plus four plus two zero minus one plus four plus two. Keep it in mind, and it will be very easy if you will keep it in mind. Minus minus one plus four plus two zero. Easily you can remind them. Now, friends, I will tell you the normal year. As we know, the all code is square of twelve, square of five, square of six, and square of twelve square plus two. But I will tell you in a normal year, what are the months which have all the days same? These are two months, January and October, because their code are same. If you remind the code table of month, 
1st January 1947. Whatever the day will be there, on the 1st January, 1st October 1947, the day will be same in any normal year. Means, if we, I will say, in 2011, January and October will be same. 2013, January and October will be same in normal years. Leap year is cut by 4. There is another concept. And all the days are same in a normal year that are February, March and November. These three months have the same day. Whatever the day in a normal year is from 10 Feb, 10 March, 10 November. All will be same. All will be same because of code. You will do this code, remind and keep the comparison. February, March and November have the same code. Like January and October have the same code. Now friends, there are two more months, April and July in a normal year, which have the same code 00. Means April and July have the same day, on the same day. Means like if I will say 2nd April is Saturday in any normal year, then definitely 2nd July will be the same day. Now friends, in normal year, September and December also have the same day because they have the same code means if I will say 30th September and 30th December or any September or December will be the same. Now I will remind you again 1-1 one, one, January October same, February, March and November same, April and July same, September and December same. You can solve many questions by this month code table. And uh, these kind of questions comes in one day exams. Now there are only three months which doesn't match their code to any month. So May, June and August of a normal year have the different day of the same date. Means like 10th May, 10th June, 10th August never will be matched. That was the concept for normal year through the table of month code. Now I will tell you the same concept of the leap year. There is a leap year have the code 000 for January, April and July respectively. Any date which is equal in January, April, July have the day also equal. For 2004 if we will say 26th January, 25th, 26th April and 26th July will be same because their code are same. In the leap year, Feb and August also have the same day. Feb code is 3, August code is 3. If you remind them, code table was very easy. I will remind you again. A square of 12, a square of 5, a square of 6, a choka, a chaka, 1, 4 and 6 are. Or either you can say 12 square plus 2. And for leap year, what we have done? Minus 1 in January and February code. Have you remind it again? Now you will do it again. Leap year have the March and November same. March code and November code will be same. While if you will remind it in November because February code was 4. Then February, March and November were same in any normal year. But here in leap year, February, March and November will not same. Only March and November will have the same date and same day in March and November. Now friends, there is only two months in any normal year or leap year have the day and date same, September and December, because both code are 6. Means if I will say 16 September and 16 December of any normal year or any leap year will be same. So the basic concept is month code. Now there is one more kind of the problem arises which comes in competitive exams like in railways, SSC, etc. So friends, I am telling you the table of week code by which you can solve the problem of century. Century first day and last day. Concept is easy as you know there were code starting from Sunday 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 0 then you have to keep kept in your mind 350 350 that is 
ट्यूसडे कोड ऑफ थ्री थर्सडे कोड इज फाइव सैटरडे कोड इज जीरो दैट विल बी द फर्स्ट डे ऑफ ए सेंचुरी एक्सेप्ट दैट देर इज नो डे ऑफ ए सेंचुरी एंड द लास्ट डे ऑफ द सेंचुरी इट विल बी फोर सिक्स वन एंड देर इज ओनली मंडे इफ यू रिमाइंड द कोड ऑफ मंडे फ्रॉम वीक टेबल मंडे कैन बी द फर्स्ट और लास्ट डे ऑफ ए सेंचुरी सो फ्रेंड्स थ्री फिफ्टी टू वॉट द कोड लेफ्ट एक्सेप्ट थ्री फाइव जीरो एंड टू फोर सिक्स वन फोर सिक्स वन इफ यू रिमाइंड एक चौका एक छक्का इफ यू हैव रिमाइंड इट दीज विल बी द लास्ट डे ऑफ ए सेंचुरी so friends if question asked what will be not the day last day of a century because these are the last day of century so these were not be the last day of century means tuesday thursday and saturday are the first day of a century so tuesday thursday saturday never be a last day of century in the same manner last day of century is 461 so 461 never be the first day of century means one positive another negative this positive this negative have you reminded if you will cap the question and i on this then you can easily learn 350 two do din two is the monday code two will be the both last day of and first day of century now friends you have to answer about that how you have learn about my technique which i am uploading in youtube please subscribe my channel a to z careers smart tricks that are for maths english and gk study so please subscribe my channel on youtube i will be very thankful to you my name is dr